Hallelujah. <laughs> I just passed the plumbing, uh, rough plumbing inspection, and I'm really happy about it because it was kind of a, a load on my mind. Uh, the inspector was really impressed with my hot and cold water distribution panel here. It's all labeled for different parts of the house and stuff. And um, so I'm happy because he's happy. I had to wait a few days for the plumbing inspector. And uh, so I decided to get back to the drywall taping and right back to the front of the house. The up, upstairs of the house, I started at the front and worked to the back. And the upstairs is done now pretty much. So I'm doing the same thing on the first floor, starting right near the front door. I took six weeks off from uh, working on the walls, finishing the walls, uh, just to do the plumbing. I just decided to do nothing but plumbing until I passed the rough-in inspection. So that's done, and I'm glad about that. And uh, so I've started back on taping drywall, and um, I'm gonna do some more masonry work in the basement on those ledges, the concrete ledges. And I'm gonna take a few days and just do that. So while I was waiting for the inspector, I went back to my house across the street where my wife and I live and did some more scraping and painting up on the gable. Um, I had kind of moved fast past that the first time when we were taking off the old asphalt siding. For one thing, I didn't know what was behind there. And so I was not ready with all of the decorative details and all that stuff. I, I want to put that all back. And so I just got to start on it uh, just uh, the, in the last few days. So 130 years later, nobody's making these uh, nine inch target rosettes. I have found an eight inch floral rosette. So I'm gonna try that, see how that looks. That actually looks pretty awful. <laughs> That's the primer. So I got the primer on it. I'm gonna to try to fancy it up with some colors. Do you remember the new uh, rose tre trellis that I built in the last video? I planted a new rose bush uh, at the time I put that trellis up and I kind of got an old fashioned looking rose and it just started blooming. That rose is now blooming. And it seems like the morning glories have found that trellis on their own without any help from me. So that's kind of fun. I think I'll be spending the rest of the summer on this, uh, on the walls here, finishing up the walls and uh, maybe painting some walls. It's kind of an ongoing thing, this drywall taping and all. I'm planning in September to take the month off and build the chimney and fireplace. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so this video is kind of short this time because after the plumbing installation, I don't have a whole lot to show you. So I'm going to add some uh, family insider stuff with my grandchildren just for fun here. Summer, we have the grandkids over for a few days uh, at what we call summer sleepover. And we, uh, we try to work on a creative project, an artistic or photographic project. Last summer it was uh, the illusion of the kids struggling on the side of a brick building uh, with some trick photography actually done with the drone 40 feet above the street uh, using the brick street as our platform and our background. That was fun. So this year, we uh, decided to answer the invitation from America's Funniest Videos to uh, turn in a video in the pranks category. Um, there's always, uh, at least once a year, uh, America's Funniest Videos puts out an invitation for people to send in their videos. And um, 
yeah a prank that you pull on someone so we bought a fake rock to do this so this uh, wasn't the exact video it's a very similar video to the one i sent to afv because of course they want original stuff that's not been published somewhere else so this is one of our reject videos but it's still pretty good i think you'll enjoy it Have a safe and happy second half of the summer, everybody. Uh, take care, and uh, we'll see you next time.